Paul Stringer from the embassy. Thank God I'm here, eh? I'm Tim. Yep, I know who you are. Listen, they didn't see Yeah, that's anything. my information also. Look, my only interest is in getting you on a plane home as quickly as possible. We may have an opportunity to do that, okay? They can't prove anything, but they want a conviction. Right, so if you confess, they'll use your statement to put the other guy away, and they'll let you go free. <laughs> that's the deal they've asked me to put to you. Well, what about the other guy? I don't even know him. Well, that should make your decision considerably less painful. Right? They're not fond of homosexuals here. Right? They'll probably get 10 years. I can't be responsible for putting a guy away for 10 years. Why not? He's just another tourist like you. I shared a cab with his embassy man on the way over, Indonesian. He was a good bloke. Look, if you're feeling guilty, sponsor a couple of World Vision kids when you get home. Don't be okay? ridiculous. It's not the same. No, it's better. I'll right, get a photo of the kids. Look, if you want an ethical opinion, I'll email Peter Singer. But right now, your best option is to confess and go home. And what if I don't confess? Depends what the other guy does. If he doesn't confess either, he'll... I don't know, they'll stuff you around here for a few months, and if they can't get a confession, they have to let you both go. But if he confesses, then you're going down for 10 years. They put the same offer to him. Shit. Well, what if we both confess? Well, they'll say you didn't need your confession because they already had the other guys. Two years off the guilty plea, eight years each. So we're on exactly the same boat. I presume his embassy guy's giving him the same advice you're giving me. Oh, you, you seem smart enough. So we'll both confess and we'll both get eight. What sort of logic is that? Look, let me put it to you simply. You only have two options. Confess or hold out. Whatever the other guy does, it's better for you to confess. If he holds out, right? confessing gets you on a plane home tomorrow. Holding out keeps you here a few months, right? Let's call it six. Confessing is better. Alternatively, he confesses. Then confessing cuts your sentence to eight years. Holding out gets you the full ten. Confessing is better. Confessing is always better. Except he's getting the same advice. We'll both confess and we'll both get eight. You know, what happened to getting on the plane and getting out in six months? Look, if he's as smart as us, they're probably not realistic options, okay? But if we both hold out, can you get a message to him? Hang in there, man, and we'll both be out yeah, in six months? Yeah, I could months? try, but it might work against you. If he's sure you're going to hold out, he can confess and go home. I mean, I'd give you the same advice if he agreed not to confess. All I can say is confess. And hope the other guy makes a bad decision. That's the best advice you can offer me. Do you want a lifeline? They'd let you bring that in? Yeah. The more people you talk to, the more likely you'll see the logic of confessing. I'm after Professor Douglas Hofstadter, the University of Indiana, USA. You want logic? This guy wrote the mathematical games column for Scientific American. Hofstadter. Oh, hello. I'm, I'm calling from a jail cell in... Yes, I was expecting your call. Your Indonesian counterpart phoned a few minutes ago. Logically, I have to give you the same advice as I gave him. Don't confess. Hold on, why? No, it's a standard problem with a simple answer. Your situations are identical. So if you're both rational... Ultimately, you must arrive at the same decision. Either you both confess or you both don't. Confessing gets you eight years in jail each. Not confessing gets you six months each. Ergo, don't confess. That beats the hell out of eight years, which I was going to get if I listened to Mr. Taxpayer-funded professional diplomat expert advice. Is that it? Well, in fairness, I should point out two things. I gave a variant of the problem to 20 of the most eminent logicians in the world, with a small sum of money at stake instead of jail terms. 14 chose confession, including Martin Gardner, my predecessor at Scientific wait, American. Wait, wait. Hold on, you, you said that if, if the conditions were the same, they should have all made the same choice. I'd have said so. But essentially, my dissenting colleagues took the same view as your friend there. And of course, they ended up with more money than the six of us who held out. What's your other good news? Well, I'm just happy that I'm sitting here in my office and not in jail with Martin Gardner in the other cell. Good luck. So, change your mind? I don't know. It seems simple for a moment there. I have to go. What? I, I paid for the cab on the way over. The Indonesian said he'd pay going back. <laughs> you know what they're like. I need your answer. Can I help? Jesus. Yeah, in the flesh. But nobody's going to believe you.
because you're alone. And you know my position already. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Just do what you want the other guy to do for you, okay? Don't confess, okay? You both follow the golden rule and you both get six months. And no problems on judgment day. Uh, except for the whole gay thing. That's... Are, you, are you sure? I'd, I'd imagine you as a bit more authoritative. Oh no, that'd be dad. Yeah, yeah. But no, he'd say the same thing. Um, love thy neighbour as thyself. <laughs> Leviticus. But then you'd also get thou shalt not bear false witness and all that other stuff that kind of got you here in the first place. So. Sorry. Could you talk to the other guy? Mm -hmm. Just to make sure? No. Indonesian, Muslim. Oh, probably. Or, no, it could be Hindu. Or Buddhist, or Catholic. Look, it doesn't matter because they all follow the golden rule, okay? I didn't make it up. Well, okay, it doesn't mean that he's going to follow it, of course, but look, I'd be hoping for Hindu. You just don't want a Jehovah's Witness. Why not? They don't get blood. Leviticus, again. You're a blood donor, right? Sure, I'm, I'm also on the bone marrow register if that helps. Good for you. We all do the right thing, we all benefit. Look, you still get blood even if you don't donate, right? It just makes you a bit of an arsehole, that's all. Well, thanks for that. Look, about the gay stuff. I oh, no, 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 no. Relax, relax. I was joking about the judgment day. Okay, Dad had something about it in the abstract, but once you deal with real people, I mean, Michelangelo. You know, on his back for four years painting the family portraits. I mean, that sacrifice. Luck. Wakey, wakey, here we go. Have you looked outside? No, sorry. We've attracted quite a crowd. It's all over the media. Listen, I need your decision. I'm not confessing. Listen, the, the words of Douglas Hostetter and Jesus Christ, have convinced me. You know, if, if there's a, a gun on the table, I'm not going to pick it up and shoot the other guy just to stop him shooting me. No, it's up to you. I just spoke to Peter Singer. He reckons it's a barbecue stopper. There is no solution. You did say, though, if you don't confess, you minimise the total number of years that have to be served between the two of you. Right? 12 months versus 10 years, 10 years versus 16. The greatest good for the greatest number, except the number's only two. And principles are the same. I just don't see why some unknown Indonesian it's suddenly so important to you. Anyway, what if I told you he's already made his decision? What? Yeah. Well, what did he say? Doesn't matter. The die is cast. But whatever he's decided, the outcome is better if you confess. Well, it's encouraging that he's made up his mind so quickly. Strength of character, which should mean holding out. Sorry, I said what if. I was just, I was just trying to make a point. At some stage, he will decide. The time he doesn't make any difference himself. Just joking. There is something else, though. What? The point of the judge. It's not going to be 10 years for a guilty plea, it'll be 20. Death for a conviction. Does the other guy know this? Of course. They've been very fair. But I guess your logic's the same. Shall I tell them that you're backing it with your life this time? Rather than getting 20 years at worst? Or a ticket home tomorrow. The other guy listens to Hofstadter or Jesus or Muhammad or whoever. It's up to you. That's it. What should I do?